Here we are at the main entrance to the Bodhinath Stupa, the largest Buddhist stupa in Asia. It's of major importance to Buddhists around the world and many do pilgrimages here, either at this stupa here or at any of the several monasteries and even a nunnery nearby. One thing I've noticed, just to generalize a bit, is that the Buddhist stupas and monasteries are generally less expensive than the UNESCO Hindu site. Today, we didn't have to pay at all. The ticket office is closed due to the pandemic. We were unable to go up the stairs to spin the prayer wheels as we made the traditional round. Even the prayer wheels on the bottom level are closed due to the possible transmission from so many hands on the prayer wheels. This is one of the busiest UNESCO sites in Kathmandu, but today it was a very lonely place. I tried to shop at as many little stores as I could. I bought a new little purse to make videoing a bit more streamlined, plus this poncho seemed to need a home. I really didn't need a poncho and didn't know who to give it to until a few days later. into the day in the life of the local Buddhist community here. You'll notice police booths like this throughout the Kathmandu Valley. Please enter the police, the tourist police number into your mobile when you arrive. Unlike police officers from many other countries, the Nepali police are hardworking and very kind to tourists. They are world-renowned for bravery and efficiency, so never be afraid to ask them for help.
There are many metal statue and healing bowl shops along the way, with a variety of other locally made items. One of the side effects of wearing a mask is how often an earring jumps out, so I bought a couple inexpensive pair here. This is just one of the monasteries that surround the stupa. It's really quite beautiful inside, but the government has made things like monasteries to be closed to the public, so we honored that. If you come here, you'll definitely want to go inside. You can inquire about daily meditation and Buddhist study classes also and times. There isn't usually an entrance fee to the monasteries, but support is welcome. If you have time and want to do more exploring and shopping, just turn down one of these streets. There are tailors to make traditional dress you see the women wearing here. These make great hostess dresses for entertaining and make a lovely gift for yourself to remember your time in Nepal. This stupa isn't up on a hill.
Let us know in the comments how you enjoy this format and if you had any trouble navigating. Thanks so much for subscribing, whether you're subscribing today or you've been watching our videos for a while. We really appreciate it. Check out our merch in the description if you plan to do any traveling. See you next time.